up I'm going up to Sandstown on a GT bike. No. Oh, I can't say I have one. Yeah. What would you guys like, 24 minutes? You even came back. Once, but I came back. Came back on me. Yeah, I mean, I think, like, not yet. Good job. Like, Must have been that no music on the way over. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my yeah. goodness. So, actually, if you go out that way and take a left, that will run right into 50 pit. That will yeah. run into Meadows, that road. Yeah. Or you can go this way and come back up. Yeah. But that might be quicker. Everyone, stop and wrap it up. Alex is buying. I'll buy. <laughs> yes. Yes. Swim's canceled. We're going to a proper breakfast on Alex. So bad. I have not recovered from Peru and it's been almost two weeks. That was my third day of hard running in a row. And each day is getting progressively worse. <laughs> Gulf Coast, here we come. <laughs> Recovery time is a little bit uh, kind of lax the older you get, huh? It, it's, yeah. It's so true. Let's see swim today, huh? Oh yeah. Broken broken heater just fixed. Water's warming up, but it was sixty two the other day. The worst worst of my life. Look at us old people getting in our wetsuits. <laughs>
floaty device. The cock that I have yes. it yeah. died yesterday. When I when I turned it on, I synced it, and within 10 minutes, it was already 30 yeah. seconds off. <laughs> So then I was like, maybe Tio didn't swim as slow on Monday. Maybe I was, yes. <laughs> maybe I was on was pace. Like really fast. Oh. Oh, you got long course today. Oh. <laughs> Tio's <is> definitely. <laughs> Hey everybody, just wanted to check in post-race, uh, do a quick little recap. I told myself I'd do this when I recovered from the race and had a little more energy, but that took way longer than I'd expected, and it's like Thursday, almost two weeks after the race, and I still uh, still struggle a little bit with the training, but it's all good. Um, slowly getting back. I had a horrible lead into the race. Uh, got a stomach bug from Izzy two weeks, like just under two weeks out. Recovered, had about three good days of training, and then I got a uh, head cold like the next day. So um, I almost didn't get on the plane, and then I thought, what the heck, let's just go do it. Um, I made, I came to the realization that with little kids, um, and at 42, there's never going to be a perfect lead into a race anymore. Those days are just gone. So you just take what you can get, and you make the best of it. And that's what I did down in Peru, uh, great swim. And then um, just really put myself in the right position on the bike. Uh, Dylan, a uh, great cyclist, was able to kind of um, pace with him and, and 
come off the bike in a good position, and then I hit the run. Ran great for a 5.5K uh, two-loop course on the way out. I ran great, and then I kind of saw where the rest of the field was and uh, lost a little bit of focus, a little bit of that hunger to get after it, and went into kind of cruise mode, which was not a good idea. Um, <laughs> I even ended up actually tripping on the run. I tripped over speed bump through one of the aid stations and just totally ate it um, in front of all these teenage volunteers who were uh, had a good laugh at me, but uh, bounced back up, kept going. Uh, and actually, Igor Amorelli, who I've raced for 15 years probably, uh, he started coming back at me on the run, and I actually got a little bit nervous because I felt horrible. Uh, so that's when I went to my secret weapon, uh, hit a bottle of tactical a little over halfway through the run when I was really hurting, and uh, I bounced back. And really, it's just that that mental focus. And and I've talked about how ketones are uh, really that kind of primary fuel that the brain wants. And I gave it to it. I gave my brain a little extra uh, bump and was able to refocus, uh, hold the gap that uh, I had on Igor, and get my first win in a really long time. So that felt awesome. Uh, especially after everything with the heart the last two years. So I'm excited, uh, a little nervous for Gulf Coast. I'm hoping the body, the legs come around, but uh, you know, I'll train hard through uh, this weekend and then I'll freshen up again. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to kind of race myself back into shape too a little bit. Um, in some ways it's easier uh, breaking up the training and not getting into that really long training blocks and just getting that big, big bump of fitness from racing. So. That's the plan. Uh, going back to where it all started, my first half Ironman ever, 2001. I think I went 438. So let's hope I beat that time uh, next weekend.